Like and subscribe if Gacha Cringe can get in the bin. For every like on this video is one ticket for a cringy kid to go to Garbage Island. Excuse me, what? I suggest bright colours for homosexuals. It gives off gay vibes, you know? Any dull colours kind of takes that away, so I suggest not to use them. Okay, so if you're gay, you need to dress up in really bright colours. If you don't, then you're not gay. Okay, gotcha kid. If you dress in anything dull, like black or blue, then it takes away those vibes, you know, those gay vibes. So, apparently we're looking here at how, I guess, you're meant to dress or based off your orientation of what you prefer. Uh, let's see what else she has to say. For transsexuals or anyone similar to that, must cross-dress. I know it seems weird, but it wouldn't make sense for a trans person to only look like a female. Transsexual people can only look like females. Okay. Okay, buddy. For sexualities that mainly involve with female, you need to add at least one pink colour. It gives off high lesbian energy because of the pink in the flag. Hmm. If you wear pink, it gives off high lesbian energy. Yes, I'm sure everyone who wears pink definitely thinks this is going to give off the right kind of vibes. Yeah, totally. What am I looking at right here? Remember guys, you're either ugly, strong, or gay. So we just have some eyes here, and I'm, I'm guessing, depending on the color of your eyes, is what you are. So if you have yellow and green eyes, you're ugly. Black and white, you're strong. If you have pink and purple, you're just gay. Like... There's no other options here. There's no, hey, you might be smart or you might be funny. It's just depending on your eye color, I guess. So if you don't have any of these eye colors, you are none of these. <laughs> so unless you have purple eyes, you're not gay. So stop lying to us, okay? Because that's, that's how life works, apparently. This girl, yeah, this girl. Okay, so here we have Elizabeth, and Elizabeth has a little PowerPoint for us. Let's see what Elizabeth has to say. All right, today, my students, we will be talking about the controversial opinions of spaghetti. Now, I've blurred the word out, but basically, the word is where someone wants to frick a dead body. And we can all agree that this is this is something bad. She's talking about something bad. We can all agree that this is bad. Let's see what she has to say. As a lesbian myself, I think spaghetti is totally fine if it has an innocent intention. Okay. You know, changing my pace a little bit here. I, I'm not ready to say get in the bin just yet, but I'm I'm lingering because I don't like where this is going. What if someone's widow or husband is stressed about their past loved ones? What if they just want to kiss it one more time like they did in the past? That's adorable. Get in the bin. There is nothing adorable about digging up a dead body and kissing it for old time's sake. That is get in the bin. If people have spaghetti with it, then that's fine. I don't get why it's not. Spaghetti is very healthy for you and has a lot of benefits. Bear in mind that someone made this and thought it was a good idea. Where is this child's parents? I know it's not all the gacha community doing this, but what are some people doing in this community? What if a high schooler's beloved girlfriend passed away and just wanted to hook up with them for the last time? I don't understand why others with nice intentions have to be arrested. What would you guys do? Let me know in the comments if your partner said, Hey, when you die, I might dig you up and kiss you. I mean, how romantic would that be? I hope this changes your mind about spaghetti, and that's why I fully support it in the LGBTQ as a lesbian. Yes, another thing the LGBTQ has to fight against. People trying to be part of the LGBTQ because they want to dig up bodies of their loved ones and, you know, frick them. And say, that's what people part of the LGBTQ like to do. Yeah, no, get in the bin. I think you didn't put enough research in. <laughs> My last day of being a girl. I'm so excited. Ah, yes, the last day of being a girl. I'm sure so many can relate to this because obviously the day after this, your melons, I'm sorry for the choice of words there, are going to suddenly evaporate and a sausage egg McMuffin is suddenly going to appear in places you never imagined. I'm going to be honest, I had no idea what to say here without it, without it sounding weird, but it wasn't as weird as this, so I hope you guys get the gist. <laughs> How freaking insensitive can you be? Burn victim OC challenge. I, I don't even know what to say. Like, I'm pretty sure... These kids, like, where, where are their parents? 
Like, if they were to open whatever they used to make this and saw this, I hope to God, like, they would actually send them to get some help, because this is just weird. So edgy, it's just some little bat kid, nothing really too edgy about it, but the real edginess is this comment. I just realised, when I start watching creepy pasta, I start to lose myself. I'm out of control. Every time I'm holding a knife, I want to throw it to my dad and brother. I feel I want to kill someone. Yes. Yes, that relatable moment when you watch something and you want to throw a knife at your dad or brother. Yes, I can, I can totally relate to that. <laughs> Imagine being a parent and seeing your child commented this. It even got favourited. <laughs> like, why? Like, who posted this and saw this comment was like, wow, what a what a relatable comment. Can you guys relate to this comment here? What a, what a relatable comment, am I right? From a Discord server I'm in, you're next. Oh, wow, this is so scary. She's holding a knife, which looks like a carrot. Just leave that Discord server. Put that Discord server in the bin and leave. And personally, let them know that I told them all to get in the bin for whoever posted this. Like, it's so bad. So we have this one here. I, it's quite a long paragraph. I'm going to read it out. I don't really know what's going to be in there. I have no words. Why? This isn't a joke. I am a Sayuma fan. I don't know what that is. Sayuma is my life source. I'm probably saying it wrong as well. If you don't like Sayama, you are literally spaghetti. And don't even try to disagree. You're just mad that my femboys are in love. But stay mad, spaghettis. They're, they're perfect, did nothing, did, they're perfect, did wrong. What? That th doesn't, that hurts my brain. And on my uwu baby boys, I started liking them after I read a 45 page yaoi about them on Patreon. Now I think I remember what yaoi is, and it's not very good. So please respect my decision of coming out as a Fujiyoshi. I, I butchered it. A Sayuma shipper and a Dangan romper fan. This is really hard for me, thank you. Now, I'm pretty sure I know English, but I have no idea what I even just said then. I butchered most of that. It's like, can anyone explain what really any of this stuff actually even is? Women rights vanish. This is why I'm a McMuffin. It's because of you. I will get rid of your natural rights. Women don't deserve rights. Why do gacha kids make this? Do they think women's rights are going to suddenly disappear? If so, then all female gamer virgins are banned from commenting on my videos. Try and see what happens. I don't make the rules. I'm sorry, but gacha kids apparently do. You're not mayonnaise, yet you're anti-Mexican and white. So here we have like a Discord server. I didn't even know they had gacha Discord servers, but apparently you know, it's LGBTQ, gacha, gacha life, gacha heat, guard, gacha ERP. I don't really know what that is. Hello, we offer you a nice and friendly community from these bots <laughs> to play with. What? Roleplay channel? Gacha heat images channel? What? Anti-Mexican, anti-white. And many more. Join us now, not mayonnaise. Okay, I really didn't, I, I honestly had no idea that there were even gacha Discord servers, but like, this doesn't make any sense. It's anti-Mexican and anti-white, yet you're not mayonnaise. Like, <laughs> what? Join this server? No thank you, get in the bin. Okay, that is enough gacha for today. I hope you gamer virgins liked it. Be sure to like and subscribe to save my eyesight and brain cells because I am looking at this for you guys. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Stay safe and I will see you all next time.